going on here will give you the hell forever. There's nothing to see in this place. The Bible says, be ye holy as I am holy. There you go, keep it dry. God will judge your every action. You're paying 70 bucks to go through this wickedness. It's ridiculous. 70 bucks? 70 dollars? That's what he just said. God is a just judge. God is angry with the wickedness. It's going to be a lot louder in hell, man. Okay, I really appreciate it. Okay, so this is uh, Sister Stephanie Kowalski, right? And married to William. Yep, married to William. Amen. And I uh, wanted to just get a short testimony, Sister, from you about the first time that you met me and Daniel uh, at Volunteer State Community College and what the Lord's done since then with you guys, if you don't mind. And include about Nick, too. Absolutely. That'd be yeah. great, yeah. Um, so back. I don't even remember how many years ago it was, four years ago maybe? Four or five, uh, yeah. Brother John came to uh, Volunteer State Community College with his son, and they, um, they, they were, it was a cold, rainy, wet day, and it was, the wind was blowing, and uh, my mom had told me about some street preachers coming, because she's a teacher over at Ball State, and, and um, people were outraged about, about the street preachers coming. And so no, we can judge, uh, the righteous judge all. God can judge, you can't. Right, you should be shaking in your boots if God's going to judge you. Hey, um, my mom wanted me to go see what all the street preachers were all about because on the website it said that they believed everything we believed. So I went over there and I listened to them and I was like, wow, yeah, they're they're pretty on par. And, and it really convicted me in my heart of things that I I was in sin with. And, and so I passed it on to my family and my husband and his brother, his twin brother Nick. And his brother Nick actually started uh, doing treatment. Uh, street preaching before we did, right. and then he uh, and then he got us into it, and so here we are today. Yeah, yeah praise the Lord. Now I, I then saw you guys again. Yes. I think you were with Nick in uh, the Rivers and Spires in Clarksville. Yes. Yeah, that's the next time we saw you. That was the first time we went to meet uh, meet up with you guys, and uh, uh, I didn't. I wasn't even aware of that. But let me share a little story you may not know. And that is, the police had come to me and said. Are you guys with these guys? Yeah. And I said, well, I don't know if I'm with them. Let me go find out. <laughs> so I didn't know about you guys meeting us at all. Yeah. But, uh, of course, I met with Jeremy uh, by this time as well. Yeah. And we came up there, watched Nick preach for a minute, a few minutes. I turned to the officer and said, oh, yeah, we're with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so that was a great. Then he left you guys alone, see. Yeah. Because we had sent a letter to the city, and the city was protecting us and, and upholding our rights. But. Wow. It seemed like the officer wanted to violate your rights if, if you guys weren't with us. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Thank you for coming to our aid. Yeah, I, I didn't do it. The, the, the Lord led the officer to come get us. So. Oh. But anyway, please continue. I'm sorry. Oh, um, well, that, that was pretty much it. Uh, we started okay. street preaching, you know, met up with you guys. And, uh, praise the Lord. And here we are today. You know, praise God. God answering our prayers. Luke 10, 2 prayers when we're laborers. Amen. Amen. How are you? Thank you, sister. Appreciate it. Brother Jimmy Miller that uh, I met online uh, a couple of years ago through his ministry, Global Mission for Children. I was looking for a ministry to support um, uh, that, that took care of widows and orphans. And they seem to be ones that really did that. And there's Brother William, uh, Stephanie's husband. Uh, anyway, so Brother Jimmy Miller's from GlobeMissionForChildren.org, and uh, also uh, he's the founder of uh, GlobeMissionTelecom.com, a uh, company that, that spends 50% of their profits on widows and orphans investing in the kingdom of God, hallelujah, encourage everyone to support that, uh, that endeavor, and so praise the Lord. And looking up the hill here, we've got uh, the Hymans. Uh, who we met through Jimmy Miller and online as well. That's Vicki, Joshua, and, and Marvin Hyman standing there with the blue umbrella. And uh, we had helped, Daniel and I had gone to North Carolina and helped them to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, 
moved down to Tampa Bay, Florida for, for a season uh, to work with Jimmy down there. And while we were down there, Brother Daniel McGlone uh, ministered to Brother Joshua uh, uh, Hyman and he got converted and we baptized him that weekend. Praise the Lord. Okay, go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. All right, I'm William, uh, my wife, Stephanie, and so we got to meet Pinpoint Evangelism uh, for the uh, first time. They were out at a campus preaching event, Volunteer State, where my wife was attending at the time. So she came home and told me, and we watched a lot of videos, and um, uh, Brother John here and uh, some of the other preachers involved, and we uh, went to an event in, uh, in Clarksville one day. It was wet, just like it is today. Right. We're preaching out there. The cops yeah. came up. We didn't know what to do, my twin brother and I. And then just then, uh, John and the crew came up and uh, kind of rescued us from the cops there. We kept on preaching for a little while. And uh, yeah, so that, that was a couple years ago. And we've been preaching on, on and off when we're not working here. And, uh, praise so, the Lord. Yeah, so praise the Lord. So praise open the Lord our eyes Jesus. to holiness. And uh, I had never heard of holiness before. I was, uh, I was uh, a, a supposed Christian who was drinking and swearing and uh, acting like anybody else in the world. You could look at my iPod and see all the wicked filthy right. music I had on there right. so after that we cleaned out all our movies our music chucked them in the trash Amen. to a lot of wide eyes so yeah. <laughs> praise Amen. the Lord we're free praise God yeah hallelujah yeah. I was sharing with Stephanie that we had when we were at Rivers and Spires in Clarksville the police had come to me That's and said <laughs> and no no the police had come to me and said uh, sir, do you know these people up here preaching? I go, well, I'm not sure who you're talking about. They brought us up there. Yeah. I listened to Nick preach for a few minutes. I said, oh, yeah, we're with them. Oh. But they're with us. <laughs> uh, praise the and, Lord. Uh, yeah, it was great. And, <laughs> and I wanted to also share a, kind of a touching thing. I don't know if I shared this with you before about Nick. Daniel and I had come to Nick's hospital room maybe uh, 10 days or a couple weeks before he died. Did your mom tell you about that? Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, your mom couldn't come in with us. They don't allow two at a time, right? Yeah. So Daniel and I came in there, and Daniel, we, we did some worship with Nick for a, a while, a long, good while. It was great, beautiful worship with the Lord. Some prayer time. We had communion together. Just beautiful time with him, brother. And, and we really, uh, before he we went home to be with the Lord, just very, you know. Oh, I just I just uh, reshared his uh, his video that Jeremy had done, his memorial video. So. I always think about it because he was often down on these streets when he wasn't feeling very well. Yeah, what a testimony, right? Here, what a testimony to these 95% <laughs> of all these professing Christians that yeah. won't get out 
and tell the lost about their condition. I, I, I fear that they are lost themselves. Yeah. If you don't care for the lost, you, 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 what kind of heart do you have? You know. Yeah, true. And so, of course, we all have to be awakened to it. I was awakened to it 10 years ago, you a few years ago. Everybody's got to be awakened to it yeah. and realize we need to do it uh, in some fashion, some sort. And uh, so praise the Lord what he's been doing with you guys. And I just kind of recounting all the folks down here, for what I've known about their testimonies and that kind of thing. So it's been great. So yeah, praise I don't Lord. know if I mentioned Pinpoint on there or not. I'm going to say that actually. It's okay, brother. Know, it's all right. I was a part of Pinpoint. Yeah, so. That's fine. Yeah, uh, I have eight years with Pinpoint. I, I, I love Kerrigan, like, man. I, you know, I don't I know love the story in it. You know, you know, yeah, but I still... It's hard. Know. It's not It's not easy. Yeah, but it's, it's a difficult way, amen? Yeah. A difficult way, and, and no house divided can stand. So, if he's going for Jesus, praise the Lord. I'm yeah. going for Jesus. My family's going for Jesus. And, praise the Lord. and hopefully all Refining Fire Fellowship is going to keep going for Jesus, and that's all that matters. Yep.